the studio was Douglas Fir from torn down Navy barracks at Treasure Island. Redwood used to get away from the loggers and you'd find logs on the beach. When we dug the well, I made those blocks and they have one part cement to 12 parts of soil. So it's like a stabilized adobe brick. There's a satisfaction in putting something together. It's a feeling of accomplishment. For me, the moment is when I get the floor on. It's like, wow, you know, look what I did here. I think the craftsmanship is on the wane. It's not as necessary now as it was 100 years ago to be able to do things for yourself. I mean, you can't be self-sufficient. When you start raising food, you find out, well, gee, I can't do, I can't raise wheat. If I want to have butter, it's going to be, you know. So the idea was to do as much of that stuff for yourself as you could because your quality of your life would be better. The dome was 30 feet in diameter, and it came about over to here. And then there was a there was a curved bridge that went from the dome to the tower. The dome people uh, really are very upset with me, always have been. The counterculture thought that domes were the way to go. And over a five-year period, I found out that they didn't work. There's a problem if you try to build a house based on an abstract idea, like you're going to build a house based on an icosahedron. I was starting to have reservations about domes, and I was looking at these shacks by the side of the road, and I thought, that's really simple. I mean, those guys probably have it more together than we do with all our fancy mathematics and plastics and caulks. So I'd given up on domes and taken the dome book out of print. And I just wanted to move on from being the dome guru. And so I took it down and sold it. probably was a privileged time because you could get by in so little. There were enough people who didn't have to go to work in the fields or in the factories. That's what allowed the hippie revolution. They could take the time off to kick back and expand their consciousness. It was a fatter time. I mean, look what's going on in this country now. We've had this building boom and this economic bounty for so long, and it's crashed now. These overly built houses are out of date, and I would hope that it could go back to something more sensible. You can still use your hands to build a home. Uh, there's no way that machines can really build homes other than sterile ones. So, you know, here we are all these years later in this electronic era 
but you still got, you know, these 10 digits and a hammer and a saw. Shelter is more than a roof overhead. Feeling of warmth and security. It's best described by walking into our house. When people walk in there, they feel it. It's not science. 